All right, topic three of chapter five. So solving multi-step inequalities. So it's just like solving a multi-step equation, only in this case it's an inequality. So we have to, instead of finding a single number, we're gonna be graphing the arrow thing. And if we multiply or, so multiply or divide by a negative, then we have to um, switch the inequality. So don't forget that from the last video. Sweet, so here, minus 12 gives us 3x is less than 18, uh, dumb, is less than 6. So I divide both sides by 3, and we get x is less than 2. Points that way. All right, so I'm going to be saying the steps and just write the new line. I don't have enough space to write with my awful handwriting and fit in writing all the steps and doing it. So maybe I'll show them, maybe I won't. So I got 3x distributing here, minus 12. Don't forget to multiply to both. It's less than negative 15. So we add 12. And yeah, I'm try to squeeze it in. 3x is less than negative 3. Divide by 3. And I got x is less than negative 1. So negative 1. And we want x less than that. Cool. So here we distribute. Bing, bam, boom. Why is this happening? Okay, then. Um, 10x minus 8 minus 6x is greater than or equal to 12. So here we have to combine like terms. All right, These are like terms on the same side. They have to be on the same side to be combined like terms. And 10x minus 6x is a 4x. Still got the minus 8. It's greater than 12. Add 8 to both sides. It gives me 4x is greater than or equal to... I'm going to run out of room here. 4x is greater than or equal to... Um, duh, add 8, 20. Divide both sides by 4. And we get x is greater than or equal to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, five. there we go. And I want greater than or equal to. All right, so here we got a minus 3x. And I'm also going to, in the same step, minus a 6. So what I'm doing is I'm eliminating the numbers over here. And I'm eliminating the variables over there. So I got a 2x is less than 4. So x is less than 2. There's 2. Um open circle points that way. Sweet. There you go. Oh, some more examples. So a little more complicated ones. This is a good one here. All right, make sure you pay attention to this one. And uh, these ones can trip you guys up sometimes. So let's learn how to do these, okay? Uh, plus five first. All right. Uh, you got to do that before I worry about multiplying by the 6. So I have a negative. What do I say to do with negatives? If you have a negative fraction, just make the top number negative, and it'll just obviate a lot of uh, difficulties for you there. So I'll multiply both sides by 6, and I get negative t is less than or equal to, I can actually fit that in there, negative 24. Okay, so I don't want negative t, I want t, straight t. So I got to divide by a negative 1, or multiply by a negative 1, same thing. T, now I have to flip the inequality because I multiplied or divided by a negative. So T is less than 24. So here's 24, and T has to be less than or equal to that. Here, in this case, I have to multiply first. If I multiply both sides by 2, do not distribute this, okay? This divided by 2, then multiplied by 2, is just leaves you with w plus 3, right? These cancel, that's the whole point. So I gotta multiply this by 2 as well. Negative 16, subtract 3, I got w is less than negative 19. Sweet, negative 19's right there. I'm doing negative 21 over here, show you I know what I'm doing with my negatives. And then circle, that way. Whoa, okay, big one here. We got to Distribute, firstly, dum dum, 
and this one too. So that gives me 12m plus, uh, whoops, 12m, don't forget to multiply by both, plus 18 is less than or equal to 42, plus 6m2 is 12m minus 24, oops, I'm looking at what I'm saying, not what I'm doing. 42 plus 12 m minus 24. All right, now um, 18, 12 m. I'm going to combine like terms here. 42 and negative 24 is going to be an 18 and a plus 12 m. All right, so I got the same thing on both sides here. Look at that. So what I got to do is this is actually an all real numbers kind of thing. All right, so if I minus 12 m from both sides, those cancel if I minus 18, those cancel. So what am I left with? Nothing? Well, it's not nothing, it's zero. Is zero less than or equal to zero? Yes, always true, because of the equal to sign. If we had zero less than zero, that would be no solution. But this is all real numbers. So you can do that, or you can just show that it's all numbers, so just arrow both ways. All right, let's see what happens here with this one. 9x minus, distribute this here, minus 5x, minus 5x times negative 5 is plus 25. Is less than or equal to 4x minus 12, because I distributed here. Now, uh, combining like terms on the same side, we've got 4x plus 25 is less than or equal to 4x minus 12. Well, i got those 4x's on both sides, subtract them. And that leaves me with 25 is less than or equal to negative 12. That is totally not true. So that's a no solution one. All right, because that's not true. Um, this is what I just, okay, yeah. Okay, I don't know why I have like eight of those. Here is your U try. So very similar. One of them's probably in all real numbers or a no solution. See you next class.